right, all right, all right. I'm back once again. It's Sean Taylor, and I believe that artists should control their own destiny. So how can that happen? Strong business, marketing, and branding strategies definitely can help make that happen. So today we're going over five tips to create a subtle or subliminal image. Hmm? We'll start here. Subtle image? What the fuck is that? Or WTF? Maybe I'll cut that out. I don't know. Whatever. So I went over it before back in my video four keys to create a strong image but to give a quick rehab remember that guy that always wore hoodies back in middle school and high school right hoodies aren't really something that stand out visually it's a normal thing however when someone always has that hoodie on and they're never switching that consistency over time becomes a strong image to the point where all of a sudden you don't see that person in a hoodie and then you say, hmm, something's different. It's because they're no longer wearing the hoodie and that's a testament to that strong image built around that subtle object, garment, whatever you want to, to, um, to mention. For some people that might just even be their normal hair color. So, tenant number one that's really, really important um, oftentimes when it comes to subtle imagery is just authenticity. Why? Because when it's subtle and a lot of times, especially since it's not, it's just, it's just something you're doing naturally. It's easier to be authentic. So for those people who are lazy, Hey, this is the best thing to do. Just be yourself, be who you are and represent the culture you come from. Makes it easy. Case in point, Tyler, the creator, Tyler, the creator, he loves uh, skating and, Amongst other things, but when you look at this picture on the left, he doesn't really, I mean, appear to be anything special or stick out too much. I mean, the socks thing has become a thing, the particular top, type of socks thing, but that's a normal thing. I know a lot of people who do that before and after him. He's just one of the boys in the picture on the left, but on the picture on the right, he is standing out because he's next to Demi Lovato, who's all dressed up at these music awards like everybody else is at these music awards. So this is one thing that's key. Be consistent more than anywhere else, especially more than being a strong, the strong visual image. Being consistent is very, very, very necessary when it comes to a, a subtle image, right? Because if you're wearing the same thing all the time, eventually, like he is on the picture of the right, you will be out of place. And that's what amplifies or helps amplify your brand and image, which quickly we will stop here. The law of amplification. It's basically saying that when more people know you, it becomes you, right? Even though you weren't dressed a certain way or meaning to dress a certain way, when when you're consistently doing that, the more people that know you all of a sudden are going to associate you with that thing. It's going to become you whether you know it or like it or not. We'll touch on something and somebody that happened to later. And normal is abnormal for celebrities and entertainers. So when somebody like Tyler, the creator, or... Um, Lupe Fiasco, which we'll touch on next, gets amplified into a greater world um, in front of all these celebrities and all that stuff who are all dressed up fancy and trying out all these styles, etc. That normal, that normality becomes different, right? That's just the way it is. Law of amplification, out of place. Said Lupe Fiasco earlier, you can see the same thing, right? And he ironically is or coincidentally, is a skate culture dude. When he first came up, he had the song Kick Push. That was consistent with his image. It was really normal for where he was coming from, but amongst everybody else, that becomes his brand. It becomes something different. He's out of place. When you look at him next to Jay-Z and all these people dressed up, he has on the hoodie. He's just dressed how he would at any normal time. Now it becomes a brand. That kid, that's his image. That kid who always walks around with a hoodie and baggy pants and skateboard nearby that's it that's how it works switch up the game if you don't know this guy bryson tiller so if you look at these hats these dad caps also something that's not really a strong strong image because a lot of people wear dad caps bryson tiller is not the first one i've seen do this by far i mean i'm not even talking about to today, obviously, old, older people did it, but now, even since it's been back, it's already been a trend. But the fact that Bryson Tiller always wears dad caps, it becomes a symbol, right? A symbol that people associate with you. If someone decided they were going to make fun of 
Bryson Tiller and dress like him, they would probably put a dad cap on. Not even, and people would be like, oh man, you got the outfit down, Pat. Why? Because it's something that Bryson Tiller wears. Even if people don't realize they associate with him, it's something that's truly him. Another case of symbol, and hats are just going to be a thing right here for a second, but there's so many other ways to do it. Schoolboy Q. Schoolboy Q, he was heavy wearing the bucket hats. That was just a thing he had already, always been doing. And when he blew up, that's that law of amplification. More people see you. The bucket hats became him, right? It was just his thing, but now the bucket hats became him. People really start wearing them. They became his fans. And he even got to the point where he came out with a bucket hat line. Eventually, he got tired of it because he got tired of co people copying him. But the point is, the bucket hat became him because he consistently wore it all the time, all the time. That's it. Just consistency. Consistency. He's authentic because he, he liked wearing them, but it's just consistency. He didn't even mean this to be a brand. That's what happens with subtle brands oftentimes until you get to a place like Chance. Chance becomes a little bit arguable whether it's subtle or a strong visual because he made a special hat for himself. But you can still kind of make it subtle. And leave it subtle because he wore hats in general and a lot of people wear hats. These type of hats, unlike Rory's weird hat or straw hat. But it's really when it comes down to chance, it's the fact that he's very aware and deliberate. When you see that after people got known for him wearing that hat with the three all the time, no matter what the environment, how it showed, Mark Zuckerberg always wearing that hat in different environments with the hoodie. Now to the point where where you see this red hat, by the time that commercial happened, they really understood that that hat represented him. So they said, hey, we're going to put a red hat on him for this Kit Kat commercial. Play it up. That's what Chance does. Part of what he did in that Kit Kat commercial, and you'll see so many other ways that he really plays with that hat, that signature hat. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice. Lastly... <laughs> Once again, just a normal thing. These are just all examples of how the subtle brand works. This Justin Bieber bowl haircut, whatever it is. I mean, it's just a little, it's just kid's haircut. But when he blew up and he always had that same haircut at when he was around 14, 15, he got known for this haircut. That was literally his brand to the point where he first cut it. It was this huge uproar, right? Subtle images, I like, can't drill it enough, are not about really trying to create this whole air and world it's really about just doing you doing you, you consistently and then watching what what catches on and once it catches on play it up that's simple that's how subtle images work i want to add subliminal images at the end just because i don't want to make a whole video of it i don't think it's necessary i'm just going to give a quick description if people need more ask me in the comments or Maybe I'll make a video if enough people need it. But subliminal images, quick description, is they are more ideas. Subtle images are those low-key images, kind of like how I just described. Strong visual images, obviously, bam, popping out. You're really trying to stand out. Subliminal images are more about an idea. Like a girl next door is kind of that image that Taylor Swift put out, um, coming out. Right? It was girl next door, sweet etc cetera, etc cetera, on down that those lines it was never oh i look like this visually or that it was just this whole idea chris brown at one point um after the whole you know if you ask me around after rihanna thing he um start pushing the bad boy image why i don't necessarily know in my opinion i think if you kind of push the i don't give a fuck image it helps you do whatever you want to do and have less to be involved in and basically subjects you to less critical ridicule and i'll get to that in a video on females and jay-z his idea was the businessman right no matter what he's wearing see all none of these things are really attached to what any of these people are wearing after a point but you still have that idea about him you think of chris brown well some people a lot of people think of chris brown's a bad boy in the industry taylor swift that sweet hometown girl and jay-z the business guy a lot of people still have these images or these ideas about these people, regardless of what they're wearing. That's what subliminal images are. So lastly, I'll leave it with this image. Like your reputation is literally perception based over 
on information gathered over time. I said that in the how to well four keys to create a strong image. Gotta say it again because it really, 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 really matters here. It takes time to create an image. It's not something you just go out and do. So that consistency and discipline and dedication to your image is something that will pay off if you make that commitment. All right. Have a great one.